All right, in this video I'm going to be tying the Shad Queen. <clears throat> in the vise I have a size 8 Daiki 1710 hook. That's a 2x long hook. I'm going to be tying the fly with 6 aught uni thread and white. Go ahead and lay down a base of thread starting a hook eyes length behind the eye and take my thread down to the bar. And I'm just going to snip away the excess thread. For the body, I'm going to be using some white uni floss. And I'm going to peel off oh, about 18 inches of that. Then you can just cut it off of your uh, spool. And what you want to do is just fold that in half and fold it in half one more time around your thread and just capture it. And for the ribbing I'm going to be using some silver tinsel. So I'm just going to cut off oh, six eight inches of that. And I'll go ahead and tie that in. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and wrap our body with the floss. And I like this method of uh, wrapping floss bodies just by you know, folding a, a section of the floss in half and then folding it in half around the thread because you're, you're basically working with four lengths of floss and you can build up a body fairly quickly. So this pattern doesn't call for a thick body so I can just do this in a single pass. In and capture our excess and with about 18 inches of thread you probably could do a second fly with uh, this amount of, of floss but it's easier to work with when it's long all right next we'll go ahead and wrap our tinsel And then just capture that with our thread. And snip away the excess. Now to protect our floss and tinsel ribbing, I like to just touch the body with some Sally Hansen's. Also kind of gives it a translucent look. We'll just go ahead and let that dry. All right, for the wing, I'm going to be using some hot pink kip tail. Cut a section of that. Just going to pull out the fluff and grab it by the tips and pull out any of the short hairs. And you want the wing to basically be just about the length of the hook shank. Maybe just slightly longer. Go ahead and capture that. And 
and snip away the excess. I'm just going to go ahead and build up a head. and whip finish. Snip away our thread. This pattern calls uh, for a black dot to be painted on the head. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the head with some Sally Hansen's before I paint on the eye. And we'll let that dry. All right, our Sally Hansen's is dried. I'm gonna go ahead and paint on a black eye. I've just got some black nail polish here and a small nail that I filed off the head. Just going to dip that nail in the paint. And then just touch the paint to the top of the head. A bit more there. Something about like that. I'll let that dry and then just finish the fly with an extra coat of Sally Hansen's to protect the eye, but I'll spare you that. So that is the Shad Queen. Nice looking little fly.